wonderful tool for a design and analysis of mixed model production lines. It is also very effective to convey some lean concepts through training programs more convincingly. I would like to demonstrate this tool for a simple production line that produces five different products with each product having a separate uh, routing. The left side column contains a list of uh, routing templates. Five templates RT1, RT2, RT3, RT4 and RT5 correspond to the five products. All other templates are simply variations of these five templates. Let us look at template RT1 in details. The lower table contains routing details which include for each task, task description, setup time, cycle time, quantity for setup and the resource requirements. The time unit may be a second, a minute or an hour. The tool will automatically ignore any operation with a zero setup time and a zero cycle time. For any operation, a particular resource or a group of alternative resources is specified as uh, the required resource. The resource may be machine or a worker. The resource groups can overlap. For any operation with a resource group assigned, a checked box in the last column represents a constraint that the entire quantity of work order must be assigned to only one resource in the group. Otherwise, resources in the group will share the quantity for that operation. I am going to show you resource information in details in a minute. A combination of uh, batch size and batch type determines uh, how batching will be executed. For example, a combination of uh, batch size 1 and batch type 0 means piece by piece processing. A combination of uh, batch size 4 and uh, batch type 1 means picking a batch of 4 pieces and uh, processing those 4 pieces one by one. A combination of batch size 10 and batch type 2 means picking a batch of 10 pieces and processing all 10 pieces simultaneously. Note that the two operations heat treatment and packing are uh, um, batch processes. Delete or modify routing templates. A modified template can also be saved as a new template by assigning a new template ID in this box. This window shows all the resource information. The lower table of this window contains all resources to be used in production. Resource available times are described in terms of weekly calendars which are indexed in this system as the 1, 2, 3, so on. In this example, calendar 8 is assigned to all resources. A resource with a calendar 8 will be available from 4 a.m. to midnight all day. A resource with calendar 7 will be available all the time. Similarly, a resource with calendar 1 will be available from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday to Friday. Calendars can be created, deleted or modified in this window as required. A modified calendar can also be saved as a new calendar or an existing calendar by assigning a different calendar number here. Resources are listed in the increasing order of uh, sequence numbers assigned to them. Proper resource listing will give a better understanding of workflow in our graphic displays. The top table shows resource groups and uh, the right hand side table shows uh, resources in each group. If a preference level in the last column is set to zero, then the tool will ignore the corresponding mapping between resources and groups. We can edit and save all three tables as required. In this window, we can describe production requirements of various work orders in a summary form. Each row of the table corresponds to a work order. A routing template assigned to a work order specifies the process requirements of the work order as you could see here. The work orders will be processed in the increasing order of uh, priority numbers assigned to them. Only the work orders 
selected in the last column will be included in the simulation exercise. When we click this button generate WO, the tool will create a work orders with the full details of process requirements for simulation purpose. If the adjacent uh, checkbox is on, then the simulation exercise will automatically follow the work order creation. The set of work orders selected in the last column will be repeated as many times as the number given here is a replication. The tool has now created 20 work orders with full details from the current production plan. Work orders will be processed in the increasing order of priority numbers assigned to them. If the checkbox is on, the work orders will be processed in the increasing order of due dates. Wellflow also implements sequence dependent setup times provided in this table for various uh, operations. We can select a date and time in this text box as a start time for processing the entire workload. By default, it is set to 6 a.m. of the current day. We can see full details of any work order in this window. Any work order uh, can be modified or saved. A modified work order can also be saved as a new work order by assigning a new ID here. We can create multiple work orders simultaneously from any routing template selected from this drop-down list. As in the case of routing templates, the tool will automatically ignore any operation with zero setup time and zero cycle time. Click this button to simulate the workflow of all work orders. The summary table shows uh, start time, finish time, uh, lead time of every work order as given by simulation. The average number of pieces in the system over simulation period is uh, 280.73. This tab pertains to resource utilization. The last column of this table uh, contains a percentage utilization of resources during the entire uh, simulation period. The table can be sorted in the increasing or decreasing order of any column by clicking on the column header. For any interval selected in these two boxes, we can see similar utilization percentages by clicking the button uh, compute hours. We can also see the, all the work assigned to a resource in the simulation by expanding the corresponding row. This chart shows daily utilization levels for every resource as projected by simulation. Each column corresponds to a day. The green segment in any column for any resource represents the expected busy time of the resource on that day. Similarly, the yellow segment in any column for any resource represents the uh, expected idle time of the uh, resource on that day. This is a very valuable chart in our simulation tool. It shows the trace of simulation as the flow of work orders through the system. We can see work orders um, the IDs uh, here. The gray color represents a, a resource off time, that is unavailable time as per the calendar. And uh, yellow color represents a resource idle time resulting from simulation. Any other column represents a flow of a work order to the system. If a resource performs an operation piece by piece, then the duration of the operation is shown as a single horizontal bar even if resource uh, remains idle or unavailable several times during this period. If the operation is a batch process, it is shown as a collection of small bars with each bar representing batch process time. Using this tool, we can do fast, extensive, and uh, meaningful what-if analysis of a the model production lines with respect to several factors like batching, transport time, setup time, cycle time, resource capacity, etc. 
Let us now perform quick and brief what-if analysis with respect to a few of these factors. Let us investigate the effect of these factors, specifically on order completion times and work in process. Work in process is based on the total time spent by all pieces and shop floor. Note that work in process also varies with the production control strategy. First, the effect of batching. Right now, all operations except heat treatment and packing are piece by piece processes. Let us see how the batching of all operations affects order completion times and work in process. To implement batch processing for three products A, B, and C, let us change the routing templates as follows. These new templates correspond to batch processing with batch size 5 for all operations except uh, heat treatment and packing as you can see in this uh, routing template where every operation is a batch process. Let us now run the simulation for the same set of work orders with batching. In this research chart, we can clearly see the workflow of work orders in terms of batches for products A, B, and C. Here you could see the comparison between uh, the, the two plants with and without batching. Note that the increase in the average number of pieces on shop floor, that is average whip due to batching, has increased by about 8%, which is significantly high. But surprisingly, the delays in order completion times caused by batching are relatively quite small. In spite of our apprehension, about the bad effect of batching on order completion times. Next, the effect of transport times. Let us see the effect of material movement times on work in process and order completion times. For this purpose, let us first restore the original templates for products A, B, and C and simulate the workflow. Let us change the routing templates for products A, B, and C as follows. The new templates involve some material transport times, as you can see uh, in this window. This transport operation uh, takes 40 minutes but it is done in terms of batch of size 4. Similarly, the next transport operation between inspection and drilling takes 40 minutes that is done in batch of size 3. Let us now run the simulation uh, for the same workload and see the comparison. Here, uh, the VIP is reduced by 3.7% due to uh, the VIP uh, increased by 3.7% due to batching, due to material transport times. However, there is not much change uh, in order completion times due to the material uh, transport times. Next, the effect of changes in cycle times. As you could foresee, the changes in cycle times of bottleneck operations can significantly affect order completion times and BIP. But we can accurately measure such effect by simulation. Let us first restore the original templates for products A, B, and C and uh, simulate the workflow. Let us change the routing templates as follows. In the new templates, heat treatment cycle time is significantly reduced uh, as you can see here. 
here the heat treatment uh, cycle time is 200, for, uh, whereas the, the original time is 240. Let us now simulate the workflow for the same uh, set of work orders and see the effect. Here, because of uh, uh, reduction of uh, 40 minutes uh, in the heat treatment cycle time, the average VIP is reduced by 34 percent, and uh, there is a increasing uh, reduction in order completion times as time progresses, as you could see in this column. Now, finally, the effect of uh, changes in uh, resource capacity. As you could foresee, the changes in the capacity of bottleneck resources can significantly affect order completion times and VIP. But we can accurately measure such effect by simulation. Let us restore the original templates for products A, B, and C and simulate the workflow. Right now, all the resources are assigned calendar 8. It means they are available for 20 hours a day. Now, let us replace um, calendar 8 of oven 1 by calendar 7 to imply that the oven 1 will be available all the time. That is 24 hours a day. And uh, let us simulate uh, the workflow for the change. Now, because of adding four more hours to oven one every day, the average VIP is reduced by 28 percent, and there is an increasing uh, reduction in uh, order completion times, as you could see in this column. Finally, from the simulations of mixed model production systems, we can easily see that uh, marginal effect of any factor depends on the level of not only that factor but also the levels of other factors. The magnitude of the effect depends on the interaction between many factors in the system. Simulations can clearly show the effect uh, quite accurately. The general qualitative perception of effect factors based on common sense and intuition is not always dependable. The developer system is a very versatile and flexible uh, tool for design and analysis of mixed model uh, products.